Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the drain tube grommet in a Whirlpool refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Cornish nut driver, Phillips and a flat blade screwdrivers, a pair of pliers, a 5 16 open end wrench, 3 8 long socket head, a pair of needle nose pliers, and a half round file. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new drain tube grommet. This drain tube grommet is mounted through the condensation drain opening at the bottom of the freezer compartment behind the cover panel. The grommet seals the drain opening and allows for a flexible connection of the drain tube. The main reason to replace the drain tube grommet is if it's damaged and won't hold the drain tube in place, causing an ice buildup at the bottom of the freezer and a puddle of water in front of it. Ok, uh, we are here at the back of the fridge and to get to the part, we need to take out this uh, rear access panel. There's a, a, a lot of quarter inch screws and I'm using a quarter inch nut driver and we're going to do some work here. And we can start it right in this corner. And now I can remove the access panel. Ok, so we are here just above of the uh, water inlet valve on the right side of the fridge and uh, this is that uh, grommet that we are going to work on. To get it out, we need to remove this uh, drain tube first. To make the job easier, I will take these uh, two plugs off using a flat blade screwdriver. And then I'm going to take out this uh, quarter inch screw using a nut driver. And I'm going to slide the valve. So we'll have a little more space to work with. Next, using a 5 16 open ended range, I'm going to press down on the there's a locking collar and uh, pull out the water line so we can move the water valve further out. All right, that will give us enough space to work. All right, next, I'm going to release the tube from that clip at the bottom there. And now we can pull it down. That's the tube. I'm going to use the flat basket driver. I'm going to uh, try to break loose that uh, grommet. And I'm going to grab it with the pliers. Well, we succeed partially. We got out about uh, 60%. The rest we're going to take out from the top. All right, so we need to go to the uh, freezer and do the rest from the inside. So now we're in the freezer compartment and we're going to remove these uh, shelves and drawers. I'm going to start with this one and this one and this one. And I pull out the drawer and lift the back and we can slide it out. And this one, same way. And the bottom one. Next, I'm going to remove this light lens that's uh, held in place by the single Phillips screw at the top. Using the Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to remove the lens. I'm going to push it down and forward towards me. Now I'm going to take out the bulb, turning it counterclockwise. Our next step would be taking out the two Phillips screws and removing uh, these two support posts. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to take them out.
I'm gonna pull out the rails and then I'm gonna use this uh, quarter inch nut driver gonna take out these three screws on the right side I'm gonna pull out the left side rails so we can reach in with our nut driver and I'm gonna take out this uh, left side screws actually we need to do it all the way out And I'm gonna slide the rails in out of the way. And uh, this uh, one more thing before we remove the rear access panel, I'm gonna take out this uh, post. Also, it's a Phillips screw. I'm gonna unscrew it and remove it. All right, now I'm gonna take off this uh, rear access panel. We need to lift it up so it will come off these two hooks. I'm going to use this uh, flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to insert it here at the bottom in the cutout and push it up. I'm going to use the same flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to lift it off this uh, rail and place it down slowly. Make sure that the hooks are not engaged in the openings here. All right, so as you can see, we got this little edge exposed from under this cover. And I'm going to use this uh, same flat blade screwdriver. We're going to push it down and out. And now I'm going to grab it on the top here. If you notice that I'm wearing gloves, I recommend you to do the same. And slide this out. Next, I'm going to use a quarter inch nut driver and I'm going to take out this uh, two screws here. Now I'm going to pull this uh, bracket out and up and the whole structure uh, outside this uh, heat shield and this plastic motor bracket will go out and up. And now we can lift it up and uh, remove the, uh, the rest of the uh, grommet. All right, now I'm going to lift up on this shield and I'm going to jam it with this uh, quarter inch screwdriver. You can use anything you want to. And now I'm going to use the flat bed screwdriver. I'm going to pry out the rest of the grommet. That's a half of the beauty. This is the old drain tube grommet next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, next I'm going to use this half round uh, file. I'm gonna use the rough edge here and I'm gonna place it into the opening. And we're gonna clean it from the foam, installation foam. All right, so I'm gonna place some soap on the new grommet. And I'm going to insert it from the bottom up. All right, so I'm going to insert that uh, new grommet into this uh, opening. And uh, this is the bottom and this is the top. Kind of squeeze it, placing the edge in. Now I'm going to use this uh, long 3-8 socket. I'm going to place it inside the tube. You can uh, maybe splash a little bit of uh, liquid soap on it just a little uh, drop and i'm gonna push it in and i'm gonna use pliers i'm gonna take out that uh, socket head okay now i'm gonna go inside the freezer and uh, see where we are there. I'm going to remove this nut driver and lift it up more and install it this way. Now I'm going to use uh, needle nose pliers and I'm going to grab that edge and 
pull this in. Be very gentle. And I will bend it slightly up so we can straighten it after afterwards. I'm gonna, it's going to be better. Okay. So now we're going to bend this uh, straight. And now we can remove this uh, tool I'm using. And we're going to use the pliers. So we're going to straighten this edge. All right. And now I'm going to press down this uh, hole. Okay. Uh, now we can place place it back, push it in. And I'm going to match these two holes here. I'm not going to install a couple of Cornish screws using a Cornish nut driver so we can secure that uh, evaporator. All right, now I'm going to install the cover. Slide it in from the top. I'm going to help it to get into the place. All right. And now we're going to install it on these hooks and underneath of this panel here. So I'm going to squeeze the top down and put it underneath and I'm going to lift it up so make sure when you install this uh, rear panel that the bottom is inside this drip pan just like that all right so now I'm going to install this uh, cover onto these two hooks so we need to lift it up slightly and push it back so what I'm going to do I'm going to use this uh, flat basket driver I'm going to Insert it into this opening, lift it up, and using my right hand, I'm going to press it down over the hooks. Now let's uh, install this post on the left, and now I'm going to tighten it with a Phillips screwdriver. I'm not going to install these uh, screws on the left side. We need to support it, support that cover, and uh, put the screw in and secure it with a quarter inch nut driver in the uh, middle one and the bottom one. And now the right side, uh, three screws. And now we're going to push back the rails. And now I'm going to install these uh, support pins. Start manually. And I'm going to use then our favorite Phillips screwdriver. And now I'm going to install the light bulb. Place it into the socket and turn it clockwise. Tighten it. Then the light lens, we're going to insert this tab into the cutout and I'm going to push it back and I'm going to install the screw and I'm going to use the Phillips screwdriver, we're going to tighten it. All right, I'm going to install the drawers and place it in, push it in and uh, another one. And another one. Now the shelves. And now we can close the freezer door. Next, I'm going to install the uh, drain tube. Slide it in. And uh, clip it into this clip here. Next, I'm going to install the water inlet valve back. 
and I'm going to insert this uh, water line first into this port. Push it in all the way as far as it goes. Then I'm going to bring it in and place this tab into this slot here. And then we're going to match these uh, holes and secure it with the quarter inch screw. This wallet plug goes onto the wallet coil. It's actually smaller size, so you cannot put it by mistake on this uh, brown one. And white plug on the brown coil. And now I'm going to install the rear access panel. And I'm going to match the holes. Make sure all the tubes are in the cutouts. And I'm going to install the screws. All right, so I'm going to start with this hole here. That's uh, by using a quarter inch nut driver. Plug the fridge in, open the water, and check if there are any leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, Please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.